Hello, brothers and sisters, this is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Julie Wedby. The title is The Point of No Return. I am the Lamb of God slain from before the foundation of the world, the only one worthy to receive the reward of my suffering. I am he who knows the beginning from the end, the Alpha and the Omega, King of all creation. Write these words, daughter of Zion, to all who have ears to hear. I am come to judge the living and the dead, the righteous from the unrighteous, and only I know the hour in which I will call each of you back to me. You now stand in that great hour of trial which has begun on the earth. There is no going back now, and what must be will be. Tell them of this season, the parable of the tares in the field. I am the good shepherd, and my sheep know my voice, and I am known by them. I am the door and the gate. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And those who walk my narrow path recognize this late hour and also know the great separation of the wheat from the tares must be made. He that sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of my kingdom. The tares, however, are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. He who thought he could exalt himself above me. The harvest is the end of the world, and I am sending my angels as the reapers. And therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire. So shall it be now as this world, as you know it, comes to its end. The Son of Man, I, Yahushua, shall send forth my angels, and they shall gather out of my kingdom all things that offend me, and them which do iniquity. And they will be cast into a furnace of fire, and there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall my righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. The threshing has begun, my people, and you must remain faithful to the end. Your faith will be greatly tested, and only those whose feet are planted firmly on me, the rock, and only foundation, will prevail. The red horse of war seeks the death and destruction of many, and he will be given the power to take peace from the earth in order to make way for the false prince of peace who is poised and ready to take his position. Once he receives this position of power in the earth, he will deceive multitudes and those in opposition to him will be hunted down and disposed of. I will be known among my people, Israel, as great will be their suffering, as I will bring her enemies against the land, that the heathen may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. I will magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Behold, it is come. And it is done, says the Lord God. This is the day I have spoken. As this world plunges into war, chaos, darkness, and all I told you is coming upon you, you must remain steadfast and courageous. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Therefore you are to stand on my truths and declare them more than ever before. I have warned all who have ears to hear that man's systems will crumble. Also know this. <clears throat> the pride of man and the pride of the nation of the United States will be crushed. No more will those who ignored my warnings boast of America the great. For this nation has prostituted herself and sold herself to the king of darkness, and her fate is sealed. Prepare as your enemies will overtake you. Those who read my word know this as truth. Those who are speaking otherwise 
speak for their father, the devil. All who have put their faith and trust in man and his deceptive systems and empty promises will very suddenly find themselves as the house whose foundation is sinking sand. You, in this position, will have no one to blame, as all that is familiar is stripped from you, and your choices are removed as well, as you struggle to merely survive. For many who once knew me and walked in my ways but are now become lukewarm, I will further harden your hearts from me, as you have demonstrated to me by your sinful and compromised lifestyles that you love darkness more than light and evil more than good. For you who once knew me, but then walked away from me, it would be better if you had not been born, because you were given truth and knew it, but then gave your allegiance to another. I tell you, for this group, I will spew out of my mouth, and they will depart from me. For my righteous ones, to you I now speak. Your Father is here. I am watching. I am listening. I am with you in every moment. You are sensing now however close I am to my return for you. You are my lampstands and the salt and the light in this earth. Very, very soon you will see many seeking truth. And those who did not want to hear you speak and teach of me in the past will now be awakened desperate and hungry. Feed my sheep, love them unconditionally, and be my hands and my feet. Share with them my heart, and in your love for them, I am glorified. Do not grow weary in waiting for me, as I have never left you. This is now the hour in which you will fulfill all you were purposed for. I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. Blessed are they that live by my commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that hears say, Come, and let him that is thirsty come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Yahushua. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.